Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. My name's Matthew Kippen and today we have Roger Montgomery from the Montgomery Fund and Justin Bratling from Watermark Funds Management. We're talking about non-bank financials. An eclectic bunch, a bit risky. Rog, first one we're going to talk about is uh, IAG, big insurance, general insurer, buy, hold or sell. Well, most investors know I like to stand back and look at the long term. This business has got, uh, what is it, about two times the equity that it had 10 years ago. Its profit's gone up about 19%. Uh, it, no wonder its share price is unchanged over the last 10 years. Sell. So it's a sell. Justin, buy, hold or sell. It's a hold. It's well capitalised now past the Berkshire deal uh, and they're not going into Asia, which is a positive. Uh, but there's no growth in this business. All right, staying with you, Justin. We're sitting across the road from the ASX, Institution of Australian Financial System, buy, hold or sell? It's a hold. Uh, it's a very defensive business. It's fully valued. It's not really going anywhere. It's a hold. Pretty expensive, Rog. It's a bond. You know, they have great return on equity, but they can't reinvest it. They can't put another stock exchange on every street corner. Uh, and so it's a bond that's a little bit overpriced at the moment. Okay, so that's a sell or a hold? Oh, it's a hold. Okay. Quality's still there. All right, so uh, annuities, something that everyone's been talking about, superannuation, challenger financial as a leader One in One of our market. biggest positions in the Montgomery Fund, uh, and, uh, and we love it. We think there's growth on growth on growth. There's growth because you've got ageing baby boomers. Uh, within that cohort, you've got people moving from accumulation phase to pension phase. And within the pension phase, we're now going to see greater growth in annuities from about 4% at the moment. And even if it goes to 6 or 10%, you're going to get a multiple in terms of uh, the upside. We think it's fair value, so it's not a bargain anymore. It was, uh, but the growth potential of that business is enormous. Challenger, a buy or a challenge, Justin? It's a strong sell. Uh, we think Challenger is expensive. It's three times book value. Uh, let's see Challenger for what it is. It's a highly levered life company. Uh, where margins are under pressure. Uh, it's as expensive as it has been in a long time. Uh, this is, again, a leveraged asset portfolio. Moving to a business that we all know a lot about, funds management. Magellan, international fund manager, done an incredible job. Buy, hold or sell? Take my, it's a buy, it's a hold. Uh, I take my hat off to Magellan. They've done a fantastic job in originating funds. Uh, it's a sales machine. Uh, very strong message and thematic. Their performance has been okay. Uh, but that's all you need to, to that's all you need to deliver when you've got such a strong message. Uh, so it's a hold. Rog Magellan circumnavigated the world. They certainly have done that. Like, I hold cha like Challenger, we've done very well from it. We own it. Uh, we think it's probably a hold at the moment because it's not cheap. Okay, let's stay with the funds management area. An older. Uh, better known brand is yes. Perpetual, buy, yes. hold or sell. Yeah, look, uh, here's a business that's uh, significantly grown its equity uh, over the last decade, uh, but unfortunately not its profits. Its profits are unchanged over the last 10 years at about, normalised about $138 million. Uh, I would rather own Magellan or Henderson or BT uh, than, uh, than Perpetual. So for me, it's probably a sell. Sell. Lost one of their staff fund managers early in the year. Share price has come off, buy, hold or sell. Uh, Perpetual is probably a hold. Uh, they have lost uh, talent uh, and the cost out is largely done now. So they've uh, normalised their margin. Uh, it's where it should be. It's really a call on, on the asset cycle now where you think equity markets are going. So we think it's a hold. Buy, hold or sell, you get extreme views and we got them today. 